Welcome. Thank you for joining us for today's lesson. This is part of a 13 lesson series brought to you by the Food Trust Nutrition Educators. The Food Trust works to ensure that everyone has access to affordable, nutritious food and the information to make healthy choices. In this series, we'll be covering topics such as how to shop at a farmer's market, stretching your food dollars, storing fruits and vegetables, and more. Join us every other week as we share nutrition information from my plate, as well as tips and tricks to eating more healthy food at every meal. Each bi-weekly lesson will be followed by a recipe featuring a seasonal ingredient you can find at your local farmer's market or grocery store. Meet our nutrition educators, who you'll get to know through our lessons or recipe demonstrations. We're excited to have you with us. again for joining us. Please fill out our anonymous survey at the end of this video so that we can find out more about who we're reaching and how to serve our audience best. We hope you come back for our next lesson. See you then! another recipe demonstration brought to you by your Snaphead educators at the Food Trust. Today we will be making quinoa with wilted beet greens and sliced avocado. I have our ingredients here. So we'll be using beautiful beet greens, so not the bottom beet bulbs but the leafy green part, some avocados, some garlic, and then our grain quinoa. We're going to be seasoning it with some red cooking wine, some salt, and sauteing our beet greens in some olive oil. Our cooking surfaces are clean and I had washed all of our beets and avocados before I put them on the plate. Um, Underneath my cutting board, I have a damp paper towel to keep it from moving around. And then I also have a sharp knife. Um, remember, a sharp knife is a safe knife. Um, so try to sharpen your knives before you start cutting vegetables and um, preparing your food. And I also have all of my measuring cups and measuring um, bowls ready to go so that as I start cooking, I have a bowl to put all of my uh, discarded pieces. Um, this is my trash bowl. And then I have our pots and our cooking utensils ready to go. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is cook our quinoa. So quinoa is a whole grain and when you go to the grocery store you can find different varieties. You can find red quinoa, you can, buy, you can find different colors. Um, today we're just using the classic golden quinoa and um, so it is a whole grain so it's going to give you lots of dietary fiber and it's one of the special grains that's going to give you a good amount of protein as, protein as well. And so our recipe calls for one cup of quinoa and two cups of water. I'm going to measure it out with our dry measuring cup. Right, and then in our liquid measuring cup, I have two cups of water ready to go. You can also use liquid uh, vegetable broth if you would like to give it some extra flavor or some chicken broth. I'm just gonna use water. And I have my pan or my pot preheated. So I'm going to put my quinoa in. Toast it a little bit, give it a little bit of flavor. This is an additional step. The recipe doesn't call for this, but I like to give it a quick little toast. And 
and then add our water. You can follow the directions that's on the package of the quinoa. And so stir it up and then we are going to let it simmer for about 15 to 20 minutes. And that should be just enough time for us to prepare our beets and start sauteing and making our wilted beet greens. While our quinoa is cooking, we are going to prepare our beet greens. So the recipe calls for one bunch of beet greens. So if you go to the farmer's market, they come packaged in two to three. Um, I got these from a nearby grocery store and they came in a package of three as well. So the fun part about this recipe is we can cut our beet greens from our bottoms and keep the bottoms and cook them in a different recipe. Um, so as you wash your beet greens, try to pick off any pieces that aren't as fresh. Um, so any brown pieces of the leaves, we are going to be wilting them, but we don't want any pieces that aren't fresh already. So I'm gonna throw these parts away. Right, those look good. And beets are a beautiful purple color. And you can see that the stems are also a red, kind of like how Swiss chard can be red. And um, so they're going to give us lots of nutrients. Um, remember we wanna eat a rainbow of fruits and vegetables. So this is getting our red vegetables into our day. And then also the greens are, uh, the leafy greens are the tops that we are also going to eat. So there are lots of vegetables that you can eat the tops to. Um, beets is one of them. You can eat carrot tops. And so we love vegetables that we can eat the whole plant. All right, and for our beet greens, we're just gonna chop. So chop into maybe half inch pieces because we're just quickly sauteing them to wilt them a little bit. And now we, we can get our pan preheated. While my frying pan is preheating, I am going to prepare our garlic. So just ask for three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna put my extra garlic paper in the trash bowl. So with garlic, I like to just take my knife and press down and then the paper the peel will just come right off. Okay. And then we are just going to chop our garlic. So I like to just hold one end and take my knife through the garlic, put it together, run it through again. And that's how I like to chop my garlic. You can also use a garlic press, um, but I find it quicker and less things to clean up if I use them. Depending on how fine or um, minced you like the garlic, um, just keep running your knife through and putting the garlic together. They like to spread apart. And then if you like less garlic, please put less. If you like more, feel free to put more. All right. All right, so our pan is preheated. I'm adding one tablespoon of olive oil. And to that, I'm going to add our garlic. Quickly saute it, and before it gets brown, you can kind of smell it. 
we're going to add our beet tops to it, our beet greens. I'm going to add one tablespoon of the sherry cooking wine. And half of a teaspoon of salt. And then saute it for about five minutes until our greens get soft and then in a few minutes, our quinoa will be ready as well. While the beef greens are cooking, we can start slicing our avocados. As our beet greens and our quinoa are cooking, we can get our avocados sliced. So when you choose an avocado from the store, usually they are green and pretty firm and hard. Um, if you leave them on the counter, um, they will ripen. Um, and then once they are ripe, I like to put them in the fridge so that it will stop the avocado from ripening even further. So with your knife, I want you to just cut around the avocado, twist it, and that is a bad avocado, so we are not going to use this one. Let's try a different one. All right, hopefully this one's better. Again, go around the avocado, twist it. That one is much better. Um, and depending on how many people you're making it for, the recipe calls for two avocados. Today I'm just going to use one. And for right now, I'm just using one half so that this part doesn't get green as fast. Um, and when I'm ready to eat it again, I can then cut this avocado. Um, so with avocados, you can cut the tops off. You can scoop it out with a spoon. I like to just take the peel and just peel it off. And um, that is one way I like to peel my avocados and get the skin off. And then it stays pretty much intact. Okay, and then you want to just take your knife and just slice and make thin slices. And then we'll be ready to put these on top of our quinoa and our beet greens when they're done. So now our avocado is ready to go. So my beet greens are softened and the stems turned an even deeper purple and the beet greens, the green part is a deeper green. And um, so I turned the heat off and I'm going to give my quinoa a little bit more time. You see the uh, water is absorbed and the quinoa has expanded and you can taste it to see if it's cooked. Um, and if it's not, you just let it cook a little longer. You can also buy pre-cooked quinoa that you can just heat up in the microwave. Um, this you can make as much as you want, whereas the pre-cooked ones come in a preset amount. Um, so I like to save my quinoa and put it in salads for the, for the next day. Um, so you can make as little as, or as much as you want. All right, so now we are ready to layer our quinoa and beet greens. Um, so I have at the bottom of my bowl our cooked quinoa, a nice whole grain. On top of that, I'm going to take some of our wilted beet greens, put them on top, nice and colorful. And then from there, I'm gonna take a few of my avocado slices and just 
put them on top of our beet greens. And then the last thing is I always like to add some black pepper. So I'm gonna take some black pepper and just crack some on top. And there is our quinoa with wilted beet greens and avocado slices. I hope you enjoy our recipe and please come back next time for a new lesson and a different recipe. Thanks, bye.